Hi guys, and this time I'm going to teach you how to build a Formula 4 error page in Adobe Muse. It's a pretty advanced software that enables designers to design web pages without writing any line of code. Well, to work with this software is a pure joy because this software has no requirements of HTML knowledge or uh, code or code writing, so you can make a web page, a web page without writing any line of any single line of code, but any any single line of it. So all you gotta do here in this software is to have your fantasy working. So have good fantasy and well to have the time to work on it. So the best thing is that you can make a page with a background by putting uh, by removing the foreground here, or you can make just a full page uh, with website. So in our point, you here you can create as many pages as you like, home, about, uh, gallery, for example, and uh, contact. As you know, you, with uh, this software you can create a layout for tablets and iPhones. This is a pretty, pretty simple thing, simple thing to do. But uh, to remove your uh, foreground here, there is no need uh, for you to work in every page separately, as you can go at your master page and just remove the layout, and automatically your layout will be removed in all pages except this page that I have worked on it. So as you see, all pages are blank. Now all we have to do here is to go at your master page because all these pages are in master page. So all you're gonna do to edit your uh, page layout, you can go at your master page and edit your layout as far as you like. For example, you can put here a header and you want to be some color, this header. This is very, very simple to it. With this software, you can do miracles in the web design. So all you got to have is your fantasy and nothing else. And as you go here, you see that in all pages, here, it has been changed, the layout, with the header. But if we like, for example, we can put a website logo, a small logo, for example, let's say our website is about birds, and all we gotta find now is all we gotta do is a PNG or a logo about birds. So, and to put your logo inside. Uh, let's let's say for example this is our logo. This is PNG font. It's very very clear. It's from DeviantArt. As you see here you can go at file, place and take your PNG here. And you have put, by holding your shift key, control key, you can remove the places you don't like in the photo. You can cut this photo. I mean, if you are crazy like me, you can cut your background to make it like, like you wish, for example. Yeah, here it is. There's the one. Uh, you can put your library inside your menu, I, I mean, here it is, horizontal one, 
and make it bigger. You can change even fonts inside. Let's say my favorite one is Open Sans Light. And let's make it some bigger. You can change your contacts, you can change your layout of your buttons. For example, uh, when it's normal, I like to be in the color of blue, but we will put, bring down a little bit of the opacity just to be greater. I think 52 is good. In the rollover, when you go rollover in the side, I want to be this color here or this color here. Yeah, that's great. When mouse goes down, I want to be this color. When it's active, I want this color here. So if we go and preview our site in browser, not page, not page, let's say page. As we see here, we have our effects ready to go. So when we go a rollover, this is our page. And when we click home, well, it says page not found because we don't have view all site, only that page. If we see about, as you see, our menu is green like this. Like we say in the program to be. So let's come at our point. Now we want to create a 404 error page because uh, 404 HTML. 404, yeah, let's say 404, nothing else. Because 404 page enables enables your visitors if they make a mistake, for example, like here, let's go at my domain. Yes, here it is. If you, for example, you go in uh, some pages, in another page, and you, for any reason, you make a mistake in your link, automatically you go at my 404 error page. That means that I keep you in my page, or you can keep your visitors in your page if they make uh, wrong. So they can turn back. I had put a menu here, menu. They can turn back and just stay visitors in your site and to continue their visit inside just to learn what's going on without leaving the site accidentally. So the thing is very, very simple. As we see here in the website sitemap, we have created a 404 error page. All we got to do now is to customize this page. But to customize this page, we're going to make the background black. And you can make it in the way you like. You can put a photography inside and some text, for example. Error PNG. Yes, just by finding one, you can put a photography inside. Just find your page and make it. Or you can just type here your text if you don't want, if you don't want to put inside any, uh, any image at all. Because this page will not be indexable for the purposes of this tutorial. So all we gotta do is 404 error, page not found, for example.
and let's make it beautiful. Uh, that was that was Noia, Noia. It's a good thumb. Yeah. Four or four pages of fun. And here you have ready your page and you can upload when you go to upload all your page in your uh, root server you are gonna upload this page too but with some customizations. You gotta go at your menu options, right click on the thumbnail of your page and exclude page from menus. Okay, here is no menu. If you go at your page, there is only four items in your menu and not five as the pages are. But we want to make sure that Google is going gonna, is gonna to index the, this page because uh, I think this page it not serves for nothing but only to correct your movements inside. All you gotta do is to go at your root server, for example, and to edit your HD access file, find, or if you don't have it, if you don't, if you don't have one, just download or find, or just with a text document by going in your text editor here, not bad. You can go and just copy this code here. and put it inside paste and save it save as for example HD access dot no, dot dot HD access and that's ready So that's ready just to go. We have saved our page HD access. Here it is in this one. But that doesn't save a, a name. HD access, yes, this is. And you can download it. You can you can upload it with your FTP or everything inside. So that's very, very easy to do. And for yourself, this is the best thing you have to do to make your uh, your website more self-friendly or when visitors have made a little mistake, they can turn back, just turn back and go to your 404 page. You can put here a menu, you can put here a link you can put here a button that says home for example you can make a button here very very easy uh, for example the button we want to make this button in this color and we want to run the rectangles and uh, we don't want the, the uh, things and just here we can text home okay and uh, after this you can change your and this color to white to make it more pretty just look. After this, all you gotta do is to group them and to make a button in this. And to make it as a button, go here, hyperlink, and just link it with your home page. And that's all. When you go at your 404 error page, Uh, well, now uh, it's excluded from menus, but we can 
menu options include page with hyperlink let's say this is the page and when you uh, no 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 preview page preview site in the browser and when you go at your site at our 404 error page it's full with page and you click here home automatically you go at our home page so you can fix this in the way you like to fix it uh, you can customize it as far as you want to customize it but just remember that this page you got to exclude page from menus okay so there are four items on this page it's the secret page for example of your site you got to do it your metadata page properties uh, put your description, your keywords, HTML for head if you like and put your 404 error page for example your title of your site, some space and 404 error page this could be due from uh, a master if you want your page properties and your metadata, your page title prefix, for example, computer maintenance and that's all a little space behind and ok, so everywhere you like, for example in home page or every every page you like this will be as a title before computer maintenance as you see here it's in Adobe Muse is a very very advanced software so I recommend it to you to use it start using it because you can make just your fantasy comes real and the code is no problem with this software all you, to, all you can do is just working and just uh, using your fantasy to make your website better well you cannot push it too far because your website is gotta be uh, light not heavy to load for your SERP purposes but here on this uh, software you have unique possibilities to be ranked in Google for any sale option you can put as much as you want here you can put your title page here you can put your description keywords HTML for head and I'll see you another meta tags or everything you like for example as Google Analytics or I don't know what so that's all um, thank you very much and goodbye Thank <laughs> you.